got pretty intense when we were alone in Craig's hotel room. Yeah, I thought it was nice. We both know what could have happened, Gabriel. Okay, but it didn't. But it could have. Well, what's the point of beating yourself up over something that didn't happen? I'm trying to tell you I'm scared. Of me? Of what gets stirred up when we're together. I can't heal you, Gabriel. I can't make you better. Okay, I'm not asking you to do that. Yeah. Okay, I have feelings for you, but I can't give in to them. Not when you're still so angry. Okay, who of all people know that I have a right to be angry, Liberty? But what are you doing about it? Are you taking steps to deal with it? What, what do you want me to do, okay? I can't rewrite history. It's I... about what I want. It's what you want for yourself. Do you want a relationship with your father? What does he have to do with us? Isn't he the reason you came here? Yeah, he was until I, I realized what kind of person he was. You still want him in your life. You just won't admit it. Otherwise, you would have let go of all that anger. I don't, I don't know. Think about it. Figure it out. Because you can have your anger, or you can have me, but you can't have both. Here, do you have a minute? Yeah, just about a minute. What's up? Well, the short version, I'm broke. On account of your client. Craig? Yeah. Not only did he drain Parker's trust fund, but he destroyed my business, which was my only source of income. Well, that's tough. I'm, I'm sorry about that. Hey, I know that he had insurance on the building. That's why he set fire to it, right? To collect the money. Is there a question in here for me? Exactly how much money are we talking about here? Because whatever it is, it's rightfully mine. I'm sorry, Carly, there's not going to be any insurance payout. How is that possible? As long as there's the slightest suspicion that arson was involved, the insurance company's not going to pay out. They'll just void the claim. But I need that money. I deserve that money. There's got to be some way we can get him to fork it over. Well, there's only one way to get him to pay up, and that's have all the charges against Craig dropped and, and he be freed. Uh, I don't think that's likely to happen here. I was transferred to the right department. I need to speak to the claims adjuster who's handling the Monte Carlo fire investigation. Oh, good. Yeah. All right. Um, my name is, is Carly Tenney, and I'm one of the owners of Monte Carlo. And I need to make an appointment with you to talk about the accident. Yes, you heard me right. The accident. Oh, good. Oh, you're home in one piece. <laughs> What did Craig have to say to you? What do you think he said? I haven't the foggiest. Really? Because before, you were worried that he might tell me a horrible lie about you. So I take it then that he didn't? Why are you really here, Mother? Well, actually, I have a gift for Gabriel. <sighs> a one-way ticket to Montega. Subtle. Mm. The boy doesn't belong here, darling. Now, are you going to give Gabriel that or not? Not. Oh, honey, then you give me no choice. I mean, somebody has to protect you and, and the kids from his poor judgment if he's going to hang around here. You're going to, you're going to see a, a bigger presence of me in this house from now on. How is that even possible? You're practically living here as it is. What a wonderful idea. I'll move in. No, 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 no. There isn't room for you, Mother, really. She can have mine. Yeah, I've had it with this place. I'm out of here. No, son. Please, don't go. 